Why can't you have a 12 inch nose? Cuz then it's a foot. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Just cuz I'm curious, I'm gonna play the... Where's Hare Krishna? Here we go. Oh, it's one of these. It's uh, Troitsky's... How do I do this? I need to play Knight C3, right? There's a whole Wikipedia article about this position. So for those... I can try and explain this. For those who don't know... First of all, two knights versus a lone king is a draw. Just theoretical, like, you can't force mate. But two knights and king versus king and pawn is winning if the pawn is blockaded uh there's some like weird series of squares it might be it might i forget how it goes but the the move to play is 94 so i blockade the pawn um i've never actually studied this position i know it's winning though if the pawn's in the center, you can blockade on the fourth rank. Pretty sure. I'll have to find the Wikipedia article. But I'm going to try and... Uh, I guess I'll try and figure this out um, on my own. The The main issue is the 50 move rule. Okay, so I obviously have to like get this knight and king into play. Let's develop this knight first. So basically, if if I'm not mating by move 51 and black hasn't moved the pawn or I haven't taken the pawn, it's going to be a draw. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So I, I think I would like the knights to defend each other. The question is, I play this or is this move? But maybe that's okay. Because I'm controlling e6 and... Um, yeah, it's going to get like really weird because, uh, this knight can't really move. If this knight moves upon pushes and uh, if I ever take it, it's a draw. But now, okay. Now if the king moves here, I move up. It's not stalemate. I'm controlling these two squares. I have a vague memory. Hans Niemann had this in a game. In like an over-the-board tournament game. And he won. And I wrote about it. For uschess.org. I'll have to find the the article. Oh, Chad is in emote-only mode. Oh, I'll let chat speak. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Your, your freedom of speech is being toyed around with. Okay, so the knights coordinate really nicely here. Let's uh, play this move. I mean, most natural, right? I know the end goal is to basically stalemate the king, let the pawn push, and then orchestrate some mate. When I say stalemate the king, I would have to take away all the squares and then allow the pawn to move. So, for example, this move... Um, the pawn starts pushing. And there's no... There's no real mate. How do I do this? Man, ah, this is going to take some... Some magic, maybe. So the, the king wants to come here, and I, I want to trap it in this kind of quadrant. Uh, what to do? Knight here, king here. I could also, like, make the king walk this way. Not sure, though. Let's play this first. At least I'm controlling h4. It's only move 10, so I have... I have basically 40 moves to kind of play around. Thank you, White Ferrari. Yeah, after this game, I'll have to show the Hans game and also the Wikipedia article. 
because there's something called Troitsky's line, which is like, um, it basically explains the theory of this position. Okay. I might have to start calculating like knight g3, king here, here. There's knight f6 as well. And knights are so, knights can be tricky, but sometimes they're also clumsy. So I'm, I'm debating whether to allow the king to move that way. I have a bad feeling I already messed this up though. There, there. How do I do this? Check. Like I want to move this knight, but I don't want to like allow the pawn to move. So if I check here and check, the king goes back. The king still made it. Another joke from chat. What no, did the no, blind no time man for jokes. say to the chess streamer? Answer, how do you want your hair cut, Rosen? Just kidding, uh, that joke wait. isn't from chat. <laughs> wait, what? Hi, Eric. I enjoy the uh, YouTube videos a oh, lot and only just donation. discovered the love for chess and you after I moved out of Missouri. Hope mm. you enjoy your late night chess sesh. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to. It's also kind of stressful because I'm trying to focus and chess is complicated. Um, play this move. Play this move and we'll, we'll see how this goes. GMs would be like so obvious mate in 26 come on. Yeah, I mean that the table base will find force mate. I think a GM, a GM would probably do this better than me. Though I don't know, but this is a type of position not too many, even like really strong players, formally study. Yeah, so I guess it's more of a question: where does my knight want to be? in life. Uh, if I move back, we, we repeat. So, oh, I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna move this way and then come around or move this way, depending. So this square is covered. But these squares, wait. Um, how do I control F1? Okay, we're gonna maneuver the knight around. I, I'm almost positive I'm, I'm wasting some tempi here, but it's all with good intention. Okay, now I'm, I, I have opposition on the other side of the board. And I'm controlling F2, but the king, yeah, the king's gonna try and be slippery. We're gonna keep the opposition. Okay, now I can play this move, going for knight f2. It's annoying because the pawn is, is I, I can never take the pawn and I can never move to f4. I'm still managing to make some progress, kind of. I 
really want to use the other knight. I don't want to run out of time either. So King Hyun there. Oh, I feel so close as well. Oh, I can play this move. Oh, let's go. Okay. This move didn't come to mind initially. It's so weird too, because like you have to use a different kind of thought process. Did my opponent just give me more time? I guess <laughs> the opponent did. You have to think about this position differently than you do just other types of, of chess positions. Um, Because it's more about um, like very precise like square control and prophylaxis. But now I have nice coordination of controlling these squares and these squares. So the king's confined to this sad box. The question is how do I make how do I drive the king into the corner and not stalemate it? Probably like this. King has two legal moves. Okay, now I play this move, controlling the square. Am I making progress? Wait, I have this move here, here, here. Let's try this. It's a weird maneuver, but I want to come to E3 to then control F1. The timing has to work out though. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. I, I'm feeling like I, I have plenty of time as well. So now the knights are like perfectly placed, controlling these two squares, and also g2. So now I can move the king in further, or basically shouldering out. So the king can't move up, it has to move back. And now. The question is, how do I finish things off? Like other other types of endgames, I just rely on um, on patterns I've seen before, but I've never actually taken the time to learn these sort of patterns. Okay, so I can check and then check. Here we go and then maneuver the knight for mate. Okay, yeah, knight f2, mate will be... And this so this is why it's so important that black has a pawn, because you could force this position without the pawn, but then there's no way to actually mate without stalemating. Um, you need like the one extra kind of waiting move. Not a waiting move, but just uh, the tempo to maneuver. So the only legal move is pawn e4, and then it's mate. Okay, that was satisfying. Oh, thanks, chat, for being so supportive. Let's go. Yes, thirst eleven. Boom, thirst eleven. Let's go, boom. thirst eleven. Oh. Thanks, thirsty monster. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the more difficult, like, theoretical end games compared to like this is much more difficult than like bishop knight mate um so a few things to show first of all uh troitsky line yeah if you google uh troitsky line i don't think i've i've actually read this article in depth but this will for an awesome checkmate oh thanks for that oh yeah thanks hard krishnan also for the interesting challenge Hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Thanks. 
Yeah, so this is basically the line where the pawn needs to be. Like, if the pawn's beyond this line, then it's drawn. That was amazing. Leech school. Oh, thank you, Mr. Kilo. And Cloud9PT. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Oh, and Rag to Nurak and McJurgle and Incognito. Cheers, BC End Games are hard. Okay, I'm gonna try and find. That was incredible this to watch. Hansi Amazing game. stuff, champ. Oh, thank you. I'm on a journey to grind to 2000 this year from Ooh. 1300 Blitz. Amazing, mate. Ah. So, okay. <laughs> I, I wrote an article um, back in 2015. On, it was after my best tournament ever. I got my, my fourth I Am Norm. It was a tournament that put me over the rating to get the I Am title. Um, and at the very end of the article, I mentioned this Hans Niemann game, but it's not embedded. Like I had embedded the game, but now it's just showing up as a number because UF Chess probably redid their web stuff. So let me see if I can find this archive. Web. That was great super GM stuff. Oh, thanks for that. I mean, that's maybe more of a... Um, it's probably like a GM or master Thank level end game. Thank you for that. To, to it learn. was amazing. Oh, I'm glad everyone, so many people are impressed. Yeah, it's not the type of end game you really need to know or understand to get good at chess, but I guess it's kind of a cool, cool party trick. Good job making the horses maneuver to beat the lone king. The horses went nay nay and said your checkmated buster pawn had to watch. Oh, th thanks for that. <laughs> ah, I really want to find this game. Hey, I found it. Okay. It's just, it just a matter of Googling the right thing. So I have um, a chessgames.com link. I'm going to copy the link and just bring it into... Uh, uh, I guess I'll leech a study. So it's it's one thing to do this online, but it's another thing to do this in a real game because it's so rare that this uh, this actually happens in a real game. Okay. So it's Hans Niemann against Vignesh Hanchanathan. Um, 2015, Chicago Open. Hans was just a, an even smaller child. Lee Chess is love. Lee Chess is life. Let's go. Let's go. So this is a really long game. I just want to show the end game. Um, that was like a crazy imbalance. Two knights, but black had like four pawns on the king side. And then black started winning the pawns. Yeah, it was so crazy. I'm realizing this is my second time sharing a Hans Niemann game on stream. It makes for such good like clickbait though. So, okay, so Hans got to this position, which, uh, oh, which table base, table base says a win is prevented by the 50 move rule. So White's winning if the 50 move rule didn't exist. That's actually really funny. But somehow he still managed to win. I'm gonna turn off table base for now. Whatever your title may say, you're a super GM Bob Rosen to my eyes. You just call me Bob Rosen? Oh, super GM Bob Rosen. <laughs> or Bob Rosen. Ah, combining our names. So just to show, okay, Hans had this position. Um, according to the Troitsky line, if the pawn, so the F pawn needs to be on F5 or uh, or below. 
but it was on f4 so if it's on f4 then there's no there's no like forced win but he still managed to win and it took him when was the last so the capture was on move 56 and he he ended up mating on move man move 104 so he just barely did it um and th this is probably more difficult uh because I, I had the center pawn but the knight knight doesn't control as many useful squares from f3 um so yeah the moves look kind of random but slowly but surely hans was able to maneuver and he kept maneuvering yeah he did this like interesting uh merry-go-round maneuver with the knight and he kept being able to chase the king because you want to chase it to like this corner or this corner even oh this corner yeah this is really awesome and then knight g5 so on move 102 the 50 move rule resets because a pawn is moved so from move 56 to 102, right? Yeah, 56 to 102. So that was 46 moves. And it's so clutch because Black's on the verge of queening with check. So um, maybe I can, I mean, having won that, that game I, I get a little taste of what Hans must have felt like with this beautiful mate did Hans play knight a4 oh Hans didn't play knight a4 this game unfortunately but that's okay okay so um if this goes on YouTube which maybe it will it will go on YouTube at some point hope you guys enjoyed that hope that was instructive I've actually never, yeah, never got around to like teaching this to anyone. So I hope people are enlightened. And if you have questions, feel free to uh, ask in the YouTube comments. But please avoid ferocious debate. And I'll see you in the future.